Jones, and welcome to a new season of Foundation Focus. And our guest today is the president of the foundation, Carissa Zerga. Carissa, welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, thank you very much. Um, Carissa is our president, and she is also a vice president with Seacoast Bank. And uh, I was on the board many years ago, and uh, I can tell you that Seacoast was a sponsor back then. And I just wanted to uh, thank Seacoast for the many years of sponsorship. They're a true, a true friend of the foundation. Thank so, you. It's our pleasure. Well, we, uh, this is a great way for us to give back to the community. Uh, thank you, Carissa. I um, really, really want to thank, thank you um, and, and, and the bank. Um, just a question. Uh, how, how long have, have you been the president of the foundation? This is my second year as the president for the foundation. Okay. I've been on the board since 2009. Okay. Yep. That's terrific. Well, thank you very much for, for your service. Chris, I, I, I think we need to start off just by mentioning our dear friend, uh, Jimmy McKenzie. Uh, for the uh, viewers, uh, Jimmy was for many years the, the head of the foundation, and uh, Jim passed away late last year. And I happen to have just know, have known Jimmy personally as well, and it was a great shock to all of us. And um, I, I'm, I'm just curious, uh, how did the uh, board... Uh, still, you know, um, work through all the programs that Jimmy had started um, over the past seven months. It's, it certainly had to be a big challenge. It, it definitely was a challenge. You know, Jim was a great mentor, a great friend, and um, obviously a great executive director. And it was a shock to the board, but um, that's what pulled us all together and um, kept the mission going that um, Jim wanted to see in the community and for the foundation. Yeah, He's sure. definitely missed. Yeah, well, certainly. Uh, well, my pledge to you and to the board and to, the, to all the students and teachers is to build off of Jimmy's strong, the strong programs that Jim had created and to really look to the future. Because um, when I first came to the foundation, I was looking through all of the documents and just getting settled in. And one thing that just jumped out at me was that this year, uh, 2015 and 16, we're celebrating our 25th anniversary. We were founded in 1990, and that is such a, a great milestone. And uh, of course, we all mentioned it and, and we all talked um, at our board meeting, but I think that would be a great tribute to Jim as we're looking forward to the future because, uh, and, and this foundation has roots, I mean, if you look at the founders of the foundation and everyone that, 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 that has been a part of it, it's literally the who's who of St. Lucie County. Absolutely, I mean, and, and they're still in this community and they're exactly still giving right. back and we definitely want to recognize that. Right, so at our annual Evening for Education, which is in November, and we just set the date, uh, the annual um, dinner will be on Saturday, no, November the 7th yes. at the Kite uh, Center at the IRSC campus. Uh, we're going to have it in Fort Pierce uh, this year. Uh, that event will celebrate our 25th year. We're going to bring back as many of the founders of the foundation that we can find. And as you mentioned, that many are still here. I reached out to three already, and they're honored and thrilled to uh, be at this uh, special birthday party. So it'll be uh, not only a time for us to uh, talk about the programs that, that, that the foundation is doing, but it'll be also a time for us to celebrate the success of the last 20, uh, um, 25 years. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to it and looking forward to bringing that community back together and support the foundation together. Well, thank you. Um, you know, we just started a new fiscal year. You know, our fiscal year ends on June 30th, so July 1st was a new fiscal year. I started on oh, late, late July, yep. and um, one thing I realized when I joined is that for businesses, and I'm a businessman, you know, I have a business background, uh, for businesses, uh, the end of July and August are kind of quiet times. It's kind of a time where you've got a lot of vacation, but not with uh, the foundation and not with the school district. I was shocked. When I got to my office, the school district was just coming back into season, and Teachers were coming back. The uh, school board was active again, and I learned and it was it was terrific that over 400 new teachers were coming into the uh, into the school district. So 
the whole complex was a buzz with people. And it was it sort of got me going very quickly because I thought it might be kind of quiet in August. So uh, we hit we hit the uh, ground running. The first program that was already planned and uh, was on its way was our welcome back celebration. And uh, for the viewers, the welcome se back celebration. Actually, um, I, I I I learned that the celebration was done many years ago, and it was sort of a a quiet celebration. But Jimmy brought it back last year, and he made it a big deal. And they brought it to the, um, uh, I get the name here correctly, to the Endless Summer Vineyard. Yes. And Gary and Susan Roberts own that. I happen to know them. I didn't know they were doing a vineyard. But um, uh, Jim had started it last year. And I think last year it was, it was really good. But this year, because we didn't have the rain and we reached out to a, uh, to, to, uh, to a, um, a lot of the, 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 the folks at the school district level, we had over... 400, well over 300 actually, over 300 people came. So it was a great, it was a great time. And you were there, right? Yes, it was a great venue and um, glad to see all the RSVPs and the turnout. Um, we actually had some board members there as well. Um, myself, we had our president-elect, Leslie, who mm -hmm. is from Kaiser, and our treasurer, Robbie uh, Giacone, was there. And then we also had um, Victoria Stalls and Kansas Stone, which are great supporters to the board as well. Um, it was great to see the superintendent, Gent, there. Right. Um, you know, his first year celebrating the welcome back with us. Um, we also had uh, school board member Debbie Hawley. So we had a really good turnout um, to support all the teachers and um, coming back to school. And what was really nice is we got to um, show off the grants that we give. And we That's gave exactly out right. $2,500 in Adopt-A-Class right back to the teachers right from the beginning. And I think that they were really excited. And it lets them know a little bit more about what we do and how we're here to support them and their students. That, that, that's true, and it's great because uh, um, as, as I was walking around, I realized we had a lot of new teachers. A lot of the new teachers came. And it was a great opportunity for us to talk about the foundation and talk talk about the grants. Now, the grant program for the foundation is our single largest um, program. We also do scholarships for children, which is terrific. But the grant program, which supports the teachers, and it also supports the, uh, the, the schools as well as the district, it's a great way for us to further the, the students' um, educational experience. So it's a great program. This uh, welcome back celebration was a way for us to introduce that, and uh, and I I know the teachers had had a lot of fun with it. Um, there was also wine tasting, which is always good on a very quiet level, but uh, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody enjoyed themselves very much. And you know, and that program sort of kicked kicked our um, programs off for the mm -hmm. year. Uh, we've got a full plate this year. Uh, some of it uh, is new, but much of it is, is we're, we're following the uh, normal pattern. Um, we're actually, today is the launch of one of our single largest fundraisers. It's called Coupons for Classrooms. I'm going to hold up for the audience the uh, book we ordered. And this is the book. It's Coupons for Classrooms. And uh, this book will be sold by every school in the district starting today. So Emily McNutt, our program co uh, coordinator, has been very busy going out visiting with all the schools and basically uh, it's a coupon book and it's filled with a lot of values but this year we, we did a lot of work on it so it has a lot of local uh, uh, merchants and a lot of local restaurants so as I'm just leafing through it here you know uh, the coupon book has Captain Bob's Place in Fort Pierce it has the Jersey Mike's uh, in Port St. Lucie uh, Stevie B's which is a, a, a Pizza Parlor. It has Yellowtail in Fort Pierce. It has um, Sam Sneeze, which is out west, and on and on and on and on. And it's a terrific way to not only support our local merchants, but it's a fundraiser for the uh, foundation as well as the schools. Each school actually keeps the money, a great portion of the money that they raise. Um, our goal this year is $60,000. So, um, which is a very meaningful uh, dollar amount. So, and I, I think we're going to reach that goal this year. I think that the book is a great um, 
fundraiser. It could be a great gift for someone. You know, $20 right in the beginning of the book, there's coupons there that you make your money back immediately. There's a Absolutely. lot of fun activities in there for the kids as well. Um, you know, myself last year, I bought about four of them. I did give them away as gifts and I'm still using them. So I'm excited for the new book um, being launched as well. Yeah, and I was thinking uh, Super Play is in here. Yeah. We put that in there as well, and St. Lucie County Fair. And so you're absolutely right. Just with Super Play and St. St. Lucie County Fair, the $20 cost of the book is made back just by using those, those coupons. Absolutely. So it's a great way for our, our students to reach into their families and to their friends to raise money that stays at the individual school. And I think that's a great part of this program. The foundation also benefits from this. And that money gets recycled right back into the schools as well because all of our money is used for scholarships or grants. So basically all of the money that is earned from the book that stays with the, uh, the, the, the schools and the foundation gets cycled back to help uh, teachers and help students. I think it's I think a great win-win. It's a win-win. That's, <laughs> that's a great way to put a win-win. Now the book is going to be sold, as I said, starting today. We've ordered 15,000 books. We expect to sell 10,000 through the schools, but we'll also have thousands that we'll be able to sell through our website. And, and so if, if anyone's interested in purchasing the books, go on our website, give us a call, send us a message, and we will make sure that, uh, that, that you uh, purchase one of, one of these uh, uh, books, these coupon books. Yeah. So that's our first big campaign for the year. And uh, as I'm looking at the calendar, there's a lot more. Uh, what are some of the programs this year that are near and dear to your your heart? Yeah. Um, all of it's near and dear to my well, heart. Yes, you know, that's true. it's yes. it's giving back and and it's to the teachers and the students, our future leaders, and that's what I'm passionate about. Um, but we do have a couple of. Um, things coming up that's really exciting and as you mentioned our evening for education yeah. which is our um, biggest fundraiser and I'm looking forward to that on November 7th um, I also you know this year we're gonna roll out the 25th anniversary celebration and do a little $25 membership. Yes, we are. I'm really glad with a you gift. mentioned that. Yes, yeah. and that's exciting. So the details for that will be on our website shortly. It will. But, right. um, you know, celebrating our 25 years, if you can give $25 a month, you'll get a little gift and you'll really be giving back to the to the local community. Yeah, uh, one of the things that uh, the board charged me with and is to work on membership programs. And I spent a little bit of time uh, thinking through how we could modify our programs, our, our memberships, and our sponsorships. And, um, of course, the key is to, in terms of membership, is to find individuals and organizations that have a matched passion. So if there's a couple, and Seacoast is a perfect example, uh, and I know it's more than 10 years, but at least for the last 10 years, Seacoast has been a terrific corporate sponsor. And there are many of those uh, out there. Absolutely. And, and we want to reach out to all of these 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 companies, these private sector companies that want to support education, that would like to support grants and scholarships and reach out to them and provide them with an opportunity in the budgeting process to actually have, to buy a package of services. So part of it will be supporting scholarships, part of it will be used to support the grant program, but part of it will also be used to support the foundation and, and its operation. And also part of it will be also used in terms of the outreach programs that that uh, we will um, work on, like for instance, the um, coupons for classrooms. If we had the budget for this, uh, we could buy the books in advance, right. and it is that much more profitability to the uh, foundation, and therefore we can pass that on back back to the schools. So what we're trying to do this year is to re-energize the memberships levels at both at the private sector level, at the corporate level, and also at the individual level. You mentioned the, uh, the uh, free gift. We're working on that today. We know now, and I'll just, just say this, it's a free beach towel, a high-quality uh, velour beach towel. So it, it'll be a really nice gift. It'll have our emblem on it, and we'll be able to provide that as a free gift, maybe one towel, two towels, or three towels, depending on, on the dollar amount of the, of the membership. And um, so it'll be a lot of fun also. So in a year where we're celebrating our 25th year anniversary. It's a great time to kind of have a little fun with that. So we're going to do some test marketing. We're going to test it in Fort Pierce and test it in, in, in uh, neighborhoods of uh, Port St. Lucie. 
Uh, so certainly looking forward to, to uh, doing that. You also mentioned the, uh, and we both did, the Evening for um, Education. This program has been going on now for 16 years. This will be the 16th yeah. um, uh, celebration. And this year, I, I, you know, we're, we're, it's still going to be high quality. I think the food is going to be terrific. But we're going to be reaching out to everyone and anyone that has had a part in the foundation's growth. We want to honor them. So I sort of vision we're going to have classes, you know, the class of 2013, <laughs> the class of 1996, and all that, and bring them in and honor them. And so I expect uh, this year that we'll have over 300 people. At least that's, that's my goal. <laughs> and uh, we'll make it a big deal. We'll have a lot of fun. We'll have music and dancing, but there'll also be a very, and there always is, but there'll be a very serious side to this, is that we really want to um, tell the community that, that the foundation is here, it's strong, it's, its mission is, 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 is as passionate as, as ever, and we just need their support this year, our 25th year anniversary. I think with um, reaching back out to you know the the founders and you know past presidents and board members is a great way to do that. You know, just just to mention some off the top of my head, I just talked today with Chris Fogel. Chris Fogel has been in the community for for many many years, and uh, Chris said, "Oh my gosh, Tom, is that, has it been that long?" I said, "Yes, Chris, it has been that long, and I want you to be at the uh, dinner." So I'm going to touch touch base with him. I spoke with Ken Pruitt. Ken was one of our first officers, yep. and uh, Ken Ken will be there. I spoke with Ju Judy Miller, and Judy Miller will be will be there also. So we'll have a great great group, and I I think the venue having it at, at the Kite Center, which is a, a um, you know it's a, it's a link to our foundation. Uh, it's it's a, it's another it's a college, so there's there's an educational component to it. Uh, I, I you know I you know I, I think it'll fit well. It's also in Fort Pierce where we were founded. So, so I think it will it'll, it'll be a great a great venue. I'm looking forward to it. Very excited and excited to be part of it. I, I also wanted to mention. I'll talk a little bit about the grant programs because you know when I first came to the foundation, I started looking at the programs, the scholarship and the grant, and I didn't really uh, realize this, but the grant program is our single biggest effort. It's the largest effort the foundation is engaged in every year. And the grants are going to start very soon. So uh, we're ready to launch the grant programs on our website. So very soon, um, individuals will be able to, and teachers mostly, teachers in schools, will be able to go onto our website and start placing their application for, for the grants. Now, what we do as a foundation is we're busy raising the money to fund these grants. And we're also very lucky. Uh, the K-12 through program is still funded by the state. The state still provides a matching fund program. So as we start to do our marketing campaign, as we reach out to our to the households in, in St. Lucie County and ask for their support, especially with the free blanket, we're going to remind them that their money is actually supercharged. It's double. So Absolutely. for every $25 per month that a family might donate to the foundation, it's actually $50 a month. And that's a very important thing to, to, to bear in mind. So, for, so during this matching grant uh, period, uh, we'll, we'll be able to raise even more money to, to, to help students and, and teachers. I think it's great. And um, I will say back at the, to go back to the welcome back reception, I actually had some teachers come up to me and say, we're ready to go online and apply. And, and um, we directed them where to go. And hopefully we'll see some good, good applicants in there. And, a large amount of them. Well, that process starts very soon, so yep, we'll, we'll, we'll be working on that. One of the other programs that's further down the road, and we'll be talking about it in future programs, is our scholarship program to students. Mm -hmm. This is a terrific one. We recognize, oh, probably close to 100 students every year. I want that to be thousands if it's possible, but uh, we, will, we, 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 uh, we, we recognize the students and their excellence as they go forward in their education after they graduate. So that program is going to start in April. And that's another um, key core program that the foundation uh, works on every year. Yeah, and I have participated in the last several years, and it's just amazing to look at those students and their success. And we're able to do the scholarships so that they can further that education. 
And one of the things I want to uh, reach out to everyone in the audience, um, as we celebrate our 25th uh, uh, anniversary, I'm in a search for individuals that have received the scholarships in years past that are still living and working in the county. I know there are some principals. I know there are teachers. There, there has to be, I know, there has to be um, individuals that are still living and working in uh, Port St. Lucie that, are, that have received one of these scholarships. So if you're one of those, those, those um, um, individuals and you would like to, just please contact me, Tom Jones at the Foundation. I'd love to recognize you at our, at our annual celebration on November the 7th. Absolutely. We've seen a few at our past scholarship awards and it's just, it's touching to see them tell their story right to the students as they go on to their new journey. Terrific. Now also I wanted to mention in terms of fundraising, we have a couple of other opportunities. Um, there's the, the uh, license plate, the tag. If you go down to the, um, to the, um, the county offices and you, and you buy or you, you register your vehicle, you have an opportunity to, uh, to purchase a, a, a tag for that, that supports education. Um, and that's another way that money comes back to the foundation and we can use it in, in any number of ways to support either grants or uh, scholarships. So we've got a number of, of, of programs. Uh, we just spent a great deal of time working on our website. So now you can go on the website and you can use your debit or credit card and you can pledge you know, $20, $25 per month for a period of time, say a year, and then we would automatically debit your, your checking account or your credit card. So that's another way that we're trying to make it easy to uh, support the foundation. And every dollar counts. It does, it does. And, and, we, and we recognize that um, it's a challenge, but uh, uh, we also feel that, uh, um, you know, what we're doing is, I call it mom and apple pie. You know, we're helping <laughs> teachers and students. It's all good. And the private sector for 25 years has been so supportive and individuals have been very supportive. So we just want to grow that support and we want to just let the, the county know all the good work that's being done. And one of the other things that I've learned over the past uh, just five weeks that I've been here is that the school district has such wonderful programs and does such great things for our children. And we want to support the school district in getting that word out and just talking about all of these, these successes that are taking place. Certainly we're going to recognize that through the scholarship and we're going to be supporting the teachers with the grants. But as time goes on and we can use this uh, program as a forum to really share with the, the audience what the foundation is doing and the impact we're having on children's lives. Absolutely. Um, I want to pass a comment because I want to say that I'm excited about your passion and we appreciate you coming on the board and being the executive director for the Education Foundation. And I think you're going to be a great asset to us and our community. And thank you for the passion and the excitement. It's greatly appreciated. Carissa, thank you very much. You know, I've been a businessman for many years. And actually, I was sitting home, OK? And one of the board members called me and said, you know, Tom, we're, we're probably going to be filling Jim's place. And, and, and you and I know, know, uh, knew, knew Jim. I said, oh, that's great. And they said, well, we thought of you, you know? And I said, sure, yeah, let me think about it. And, I, and the more I thought about it, it fits like a glove, you know. I, I've been a businessman all my life, but at the same time, I had personal struggles, okay, a, um, as a student. And I was able to overcome those struggles with help. And I learned how to read really well. Because of that, I went on to college. I got my master's degree, and I was very, and I did very well in, in business. So in a way, it's, it's, a, it's an opportunity for me to give back. But the foundation to me, as I said before, it's just mom and apple pie. It's just a great, it's just a great program. And uh, so thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to have a terrific year. I just know that. I'm going to throw something out to everyone there. I really believe that this foundation can be a multi-million dollar foundation. I'm, I'm, I'm looking <laughs> at my boss here and she's writing this down, you know. But I really believe in terms of the funding that we provide to our teachers and students that we can triple it easily. And that's going to be my, my, my goal, is just to get the word out, to raise the top of mind awareness of the foundation, to tell the good story all the time, and just work on all of these programs and more. I have a vision. I, I believe that at some point in time in the not too distant future, we're going to have a school store. 
and this store will be free to teachers. Teachers will be able to, to shop at, at the foundation store and buy computers and buy iPads and uh, laptops and, and even pencils and paper. And that will be all funded by, by the foundation through a debit card. So when they have a need in their school, they may not even have to go through the grant program. They know they have this value-added stored card. They can go right to our store and they can, they can shop right away for that program and for that student's need. In the future programs, we'll be talking about how we actually impact students. And I, I think what we're going to do is take a journey. We're going to go out into the schools and talk to the teachers, and we're going to talk to the students, and we're going to see all the wonderful programs that the uh, Education Foundation supports. So, Carissa, thank you for being my first guest. Okay. And um, uh, at our next show, we're going to be digging a little bit deeper in, in, into the actual programs. So, folks, thank you very much for, for, uh, for listening, and uh, we'll see you uh, at, um, at the next program.